Hello and welcome to this video today guys. Today we're doing loot tables with the bridge program. Yes, this has been possible for a very long time, but maybe some of you guys don't really know how loot tables work. And for me, they are one of the most bestest features of behavior packs that we can actually play with loot tables. Because there's so many possibilities you can do with a loot table, it's awesome. But the reason I'm doing this as well is because obviously with the 1.12 coming out soon, hopefully, um, you can obviously attach this to your certain blocks or items, and you can actually add these items into the loot tables as well. So possibly some of you guys might not really know how to do uh, loot tables with bridge, so this is what this tutorial is for. So again, as I always say, all the download links and everything are in the description of the video, so please check that out so we're going to go up to file here and hit new file and we're going to hit this scully kind of icon here and for this we're going to be playing around with a chicken okay so a, basically a vanilla chicken and when you kill it it's going to drop a certain loot table that i'm going to create if you don't know what a loot table is it's basically what it drops um it's kind of in a in a sort of way of like rolling dice. It's quite hard to explain how this actually works. It's all about probability and randomness, I would presume, really. That's the best way to describe it, really. But but as you can see here, this is what you get. Um, and this is pretty much it, okay? So if we hit rolls, you can actually add um, how many times, if you like, a dice or a die rolls. Okay, so what this is important for is how many times the game is going to choose to roll whatever item or loot table you've chose. Okay, again, try, I hope that I'm explaining this correctly because it's quite weird to understand. Um, so basically, ignore everything. This, just set it to one. It's probably, it's what pretty much everything is apart from the end loot treasure chest, you know, in the end cities. That is set to two, or it can actually go between two to six because it's got a minimum and a maximum value. But for this, we're doing default one, okay? Next is entry. So this is how we're actually gonna, you know, attach some sort of item or like I say, a loot table to um, this chicken. So if I actually delete type here, and if I bring it up again, you're gonna see, I actually get loot tables. So you could actually in theory make some sort of weird loot table inception here. Or if you're making like, if you've got a machine, right, for example, and you want, to, you want it to drop a randomized loot table when it gets killed on death. So you don't want it to always drop like five iron ingots. You don't always want it to do that. You can make it drop five iron ingots and something else by attaching a loot table. But every time it could be random. This is what I mean, a loot tables are extremely powerful. But for this, we're just doing item, okay? Because all we want to do is have this chicken drop an apple, basically, instead of chicken and feathers. So as I've got this like this, I could show you the code like this. We wanna put this type back up the top, okay? Um, most of the time you're going to be just using item uh, name is obviously the name of the item if you're using custom um, items or whatever obviously you call this whatever you want it to be called so minecraft would be for me for my sky factory map would be sky factory and then whatever we want like a bat wing for example okay obviously for this we're doing just a, a apple okay pretty straightforward there Weight is how much percent it's got of dropping. So one can either mean a hundred or one, okay? Obviously, because we've only got one item, which is an apple, it's gonna mean a hundred, right? <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory uh, there, sorry. It's not that difficult to understand. Just think of this as kind of like a percentage kind of thing, okay? Um, you don't have to have a weight, but I would highly recommend it because if you start putting more items in there, it's going to get messy. Okay. So for example, as well with the weight, if you've got like four items, you could set them all to one 
and they've all got a 25% chance of dropping, okay? It's quite mathematical, the uh, loot tables, so if you're not very good at maths, I would suggest clicking off this video. <laughs> anyway, so what is pretty cool about this, if I click the uh, zero, and you can actually add functions to this as well. So this is where it gets a bit more in depth. So I'm not really adding anything to the Apple because I've got a few examples anyway. And obviously you can download this. Um, so we add functions. A function is something that it's required. It, like it's, it's what it's going to do for the item. Okay. It's probably the best way to explain it. So if I wanted to have a count of between, because you can actually do a count of just one if you want, that will be without a function, okay? But if you want to have, um, say, like a, a, a variation of like 1 to 16 apples from when I kill this chicken, we need to put a set count of a minimum and a maximum. I'll show you how to do that in a minute because it's a bit different on bridge. Um, I don't know if Solve needs to uh, update this. If you're watching this Solve, possibly you might need to look into a bit of the uh, loot tables because there's a lot of this automation completion thing isn't really working. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but maybe I'm just being an idiot, but I shall show you with the set count. But obviously there's some more things, like set data is obviously uh, data values in the game, so die, like lapis is number four, um, you know, wool, black wool, I think is 16, isn't it? Or 15, sorry, because obviously it starts with zero. Um, there's a couple in here. I do not really know what they do. Um, set actor ID. I don't know if this is like new involving the pillager kind of update. I, I don't really know. And again, exploration map. I, I don't really know. Um, a couple of these are how you just do enchanting. If you are really, really stuck with these, just download the behavior pack, vanilla behavior pack, and just start looking through how this all works and you'll understand it because that is all literally all I have done. And obviously you can find more stuff here on documentation and obviously you can go on the Wikipedia as well. So anyway, so for function, I want to actually do um, the set count because obviously there is a bit of an issue here with this. So as you could see, it's just like that. but we can actually add a way of adding um, how many, if you know what I mean, because it's just set count. So we need to click this zero and actually manually type this in. So this is where I think this might need a bit of work. Um, I might be wrong though, but as you can see now, if I click the uh, zero, you've got count underneath, okay? So normally it starts with min. So, oops, we want to go back. Yeah, we want to go there, sorry type in min, okay? Sorry, I got a bit confused there. And then max, okay? So this is what I mean. I feel like this should be automatically doing it, but it's not really. Um, so a minimum, we said we want one apple, okay? And maximum, we want 16, okay? And now if we look at this, we can see I've got a set count of one to 16 apples whenever I kill a chicken, basically. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. If you want to know any more information about loot tables, obviously, like I say, you can click on these things or just message me or join my Discord and ask a question. I'm more than happy to um, help you guys. Uh, so we're going to hit save here and we're going to just hit open in Explorer and we're going to go into loot tables. And as you can see, we've got some other things here, but we've got a chicken example. So I'm going to copy that, go to my doc Mojang behavior packs. Ah. We haven't actually got it there because I stupidly left it on my desktop. So as you can see, that's the entities I've got. And here we go. Beam. When you look in there, look, we can see we got a roll of one item apple with a weight of one. So that'll be 100%. It will always drop at least one apple, basically. But it will always be between one and 16. Okay. Very, very straightforward. It's not very difficult. All of these other things are just some examples I've put in just to show you there is different things you can do. But yeah, let's hop on Minecraft and 
We're going to just um, copy this uh, behavior pack because I'll make this out for download so you can go in the description of the video and download that. So here we go, we've loaded up Minecraft and this is what you'll get if you download it, okay? So I'm just going to attach that to my game and the rest of it is pretty much set. So I should be loading up in a flat world with a few different behaviors, okay? Right, we spawned in. Let's find ourselves a chicken because obviously this is the one we've just done together. And a nice shiny diamond sword. And let's kill one of these. And why don't I actually hop into game mode S so you can see how many I actually pick up. So this time we got five. If I kill another one, um, there we go. I've got 10, as you can see. So I got 15, okay? So some other things that I've actually added in, I'm gonna just set this to time to night, just to give you a few more examples of what you can do um, with loot tables. So if I grab myself a zombie spawn egg and a creeper spawn egg, and lastly, a silver fish and a fishing rod. And just I need a bucket of water and I think that should be pretty much it. I can get rid of those apples. Right, first of all, the zombies. So with loot tables, you can actually change what a zombie or a skeleton or anything that has equipment attached with a loot table. So as you can see, yes, diamond shovel, nothing, diamond shovel, nothing, nothing. Crossbow on a, cro on a zombie, yes. Oh man, possibilities, man. They are endless. There's a lot of shovels because the shovel has a weight of three. Bear that in mind. So obviously you're going to see more shovels. So if I keep spamming these, you're going to see quite a few different things. There's a zombie there with a diamond sword, a diamond axe. I think I've seen a trident. There he is. <laughs> so as you can see, pretty cool stuff. Nordo, also, what else have I done with a zombie? So if you kill it, it will always drop something special. So diamond, uh, a gold block, sorry. Diamond. Another gold block. An emerald. Now this is using, is killed by a player tag. So I'm gonna actually kill these because they are quite loud. Okay. And that's that, okay? Next, fishing. You can actually change what you catch from fishing with loot tables and you can also change what treasure you can get in um, like you know in in blacksmith chests or whatever you, you know what I mean you can change the chests so in a desert temple for example whatever you want so yeah and what I've done here is actually change the, the fishing the opposite way around so you'll catch more treasure than rubbish fish and yes, you should catch, if you catch a fish, you've got more chance of catching the clownfish than the regular codfish. Nothing too major here, but I'm just showing you. Um, obviously, I just caught that nautilus shell. That's classed as treasure. And yes, are we going to catch something? Here we go. We've got a name tag. Again, that's classed as treasure. Right, the silverfish. This one's pretty cool. So if I kill this, I get instantly get a um, iron ore block. Okay. But if I enchant my sword with, oops, at S, fire aspect, we can put two, and I spawn more, a couple more of these, it will actually smelt it down for me because they're on fire. So again, you can do some pretty cool stuff with loot tables. Imagine you're making a custom, um, like, ore or something. Yes, you could... You could do that probably, it's gonna work. I am yet to test that, but I would say it's gonna work because if you make a recipe of it that it can be smelted by a furnace, I'm 100% sure it's gonna work. Um, if you try it, let me know in the comment section. The creeper, I wanted to see how much um, fireworks can drop from a single creeper. And this is my results. <laughs> yeah. I'm just showing you that is a roll of 64 times by 1 to 64 fireworks. So yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for um, Bridge on Loot Tables. I hope that you like this. 
I'm Darren Ross Probs, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.